to make it real quick and simple. So I got to YouTube and some stuff, and I came across, I believe it's called Chicken and Rice. And rice. Hey, yo. Thanks for sharing party of day with us. This is the Chicken and Rice Podcast. I'm Dodge P, and I'm here with my best friend, my confidant, my right-hand woman, the most beautiful girl in the world inside and out, my wife. Say hello, baby. Beautiful people and welcome. I'm Ray and I'm so excited to share our journey and everything in between with you guys. The best part about it, I get to do it with my husband and my very best friend. I really couldn't ask for anything better than that. I love you, babe. You the sh. Now let's do this. Yo, welcome to Chicken Rice Podcast, episode 41, 4141. That's how you say it in Spanish, right? Yeah. All right. I uh, see. I'm not even doing Duolingo and I know Spanish. What's good with that? Nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> That's number one hate already. Listen, this is a quick one today. Uh, really quick. Where's my, I'm not there today. Oh, do you see all the decorations? Great class. Design. Instagram. Right? Yes. Got it. <laughs> so listen, before we get started, if you could do us a favor, click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We would appreciate it. Listen, this one's going to be really fast. Shout out to the 76ers and all the work that they're putting in because they're killing it right now. Yes, they are. Yo, I sent a I sent a, a tweet to uh, George Niang. I asked him, how can we get on this podcast? So we'll see if he responds. We'll see. You, you're on your little Twitter thing now. I'll be trying. Sometimes you, 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 you will never know the answer until you ask, right? I hate Twitter. I tried it like 12, 13 years ago. <laughs> right, but you're more visual. <laughs> like so. twice, and it was so whack to me. But I don't know to use it. I don't like it. It's not... It's not my thing. I'm definitely visual. Um, right. Yeah. So it wasn't for me. So you. So yeah. You killing it on Instagram. Like me, I shut down my Instagram stuff. So now Twitter's like, yo, boop, 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 and I send it out. And if I get nothing back, I'm cool. If I get something back, I'm cool too. So I hit him up. Said, how can same with me? I'm not killing. I just started a page mm. for the design, and you know, it's whatever. Right. <laughs> it's whatever. So, so we went to the game the other night, and uh, the other night, and uh, it's crazy because. I thought I told you this before, or I mentioned this before, like as big as Philadelphia is, you go to the game and you see like people, you know, like more than one person. Yes. That's yes. nuts to me. It is. It's, it's big, but it's small. There's it's, a, there's a million and a half people in Philadelphia. Right. But a lot of people kind of roll in the same circle. Right. They like what you like. If they're, sure. we like basketball, they're going to, you know, probably end up in a game. We, we usually always bump into someone that we know, whether it's me or you. Right. Um, or our friend that was with us sure. when we go to these games. So. And, it's, and it's crazy because a lot of times we see people like right in our same section that we know. Right. That's, what's, <laughs> that's what has me like, yo, what's going on? Seven degrees of separation or what? I got to right. come out my mouth. Okay. Here we go. So I guess um, we'll probably keep it more um, to the relationship stuff since sure. it's basically February. Oh. Hence all these hearts and red and everything. Um, got it. <clears throat> excuse me. But real quick about the game, right? LeBron, you were wrong for that one, because he was he was supposed to play, yeah. And then the last minute said, "Nah, I don't want Joel to beat me." I don't think he wants Joel <laughs> to drop that fifty pack on him. That's all I'm saying. Probably not, but it, you know, I felt like that probably disappointed his the fans more, right? The few um, gold um, jerseys that was sprinkled in sure. the crowd, but right. yeah. I don't know. There were about ten of y'all that I saw. You know, is a Maybe twelve. Hard. You know, Maybe I guess, 12. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And a, and a couple of y'all got, no, those were our fans that got kicked out for, uh, for messing with mellow, but it is what it is. Oh. And so I was talking to my friend and he knows the guy that, um, uh, mellow got really upset at and sure. got kicked out. But sure. the thing was, he said that the guy's actually really nice and right. supposedly mellow thought that he was called him a boy right, or whatever. Right. And he was like, my friend is black, and he's like, I talk to this dude all the time. I get no racist vibes, no nothing. He's sure. super cool. He's at all the games. Is, And I'm like, you should, first of all, you should have handled it a lot better for being in the league for so long. You should already know. Like, But he wasn't even, you know, I think he was just kind of upset that they were losing. I can agree. And, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is really sore. No worries. And um, that he kind of took it out on that fan. So here's what I think, because that shit happened to us at L.A. Fitness. White dude kept saying boy. Mm -hmm. And I pulled him to the side and I was like, listen, you can't say that amongst black people. 
just, like I can say it, and I know it's unfair. I can say, yo, good shot, boy, or, you know what I mean, to another black man, but, like, he can't say it to a black man because we might take it the wrong way. So I don't know where the disconnect is, and I heard the exact same story, and I get it if he's saying, like, yo, get to the corner, boy, and shoot. Like, it don't, it, it, I don't believe it had any racial I don't think undertones. I believe it had any malice at all. And I feel like if you've that. been in the league 18 years, you should be able to block that shit right. out. Or malice as in, like, racial. Right. You know what I mean? If he was saying something else, like, get the fuck out of here, boy, or something like that, right. then whatever. But, right. um, which he probably did, because obviously he's there for the Sixers. Sure. But I don't think that it was malicious in, like, a racial way. I don't think so. At either. all. All right, so on to the love. Okay, you got all Oh, I got the, the notes. notes. Okay, so... <laughs> Where is the relationship <clears throat> questions? Oh, we have three. Okay. Oh, uh, we have so, two. Okay, so I do have one for you that okay. is on the list that I put on there. I saw it. And um, I think. So I want to know, we've been together for over 13 years now. Right. And um, our anniversary is coming up in a couple weeks. February 11th. The, our 11th um, anniversary. So I was wondering, is there anything that you miss at all about the single life or about being single? Like anything at all? Um, that's a great question. Uh, I probably miss like flirting, but that's probably it. Okay. Everything else, like I, I like the awkwardness of getting to know somebody it's and horrible. stuff like that. Like <laughs> that's the shit that I don't like. Right. So other than just like flirting, because I don't, I don't get to flirt anymore. Not that I want to, but like that's kind of like that's a head thing for me, and I like playing head games. So, like, okay. flirting is a little heady. Pause. Yeah, but, <clears throat> see, I flirt all the time. I know you do. I flirt all the time, especially because of where I work and sure. my job. And sure. it's kind of like how I make my money. Sure. So, to a certain extent. <clears throat> but you, it's hard for you because you're home a lot and then right. you're at an office. <laughs> where you Chicks. Excuse excuse the last Excuse, excuse you. <laughs> um. <laughs> So it's yeah. kind of like not really. I'm in a club, so right. it's kind of like it kind of comes with the territory for yeah. the most part. But um, is that all you miss? That's pretty much all I miss. Like I don't, I don't miss like dating. I don't miss getting to know people because I'm weird. Not even that. Just stuff like on your own. Like just, I guess because we give each other space, right? A lot of space. We still do whatever we want. Like it's not like um, oh, I used to get up at this time, and now you're getting up. Um, earlier so like, like our times are always whatever you don't bother me when I sleep during the day right. because my sleep schedule is jacked up correct <clears throat> and all that kind of stuff so I don't think there's much that I miss either about being single and um, it, I didn't plan it that way but I was pretty much in um, a relationship for a majority <laughs> of my adult life sure um, three main ones Right. And it was a seven year, a two year, and now a thirteen plus year. So twenty two years. Yeah. So pretty much half my adult life, I was in a relationship. Um, again, not that I planned that. I was fine when I was single too. You know, I hated dating. That was horrible though. Dating right. is the worst. Right. And today, I wouldn't even know how to date today because people don't even ask for your number. They'd be like, "What's your IG?" What's your IG? And I'm just like, it's just weird. It, yeah, it's crazy. It's I guess there's dating apps that you know I would, could probably use, but like you said. Even though as tight of a couple as we are, we still have our like individual space. And so I think what that does is it helps boost the actual relationship. Right. Because like you said, you do your thing, I do my thing, but we also do stuff together. Right. And that's what makes it so great for me because I never feel like I'm bogged down. And actually, a lot of times I want to spend time with you, right. which is weird because we're always together anyway, it seems like. Yeah, but you do, you know, so your office is in the basement. Right. You're down there. Right. I kind of, like, overtook everything upstairs. So my room, dressing room, my the guest room, I got the attic. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> a, lot right. of, a lot of stuff. Yeah. I have a now. lot of stuff. <laughs> you do have a lot so of stuff. But. I have a lot of stuff, but it's, you know, it's it's my things, and I just, just have it kind of all over the place. So I'm all over the place upstairs and you're in the basement so we do our own thing but then sure. we always get back together on the couch right and you know watch our tv and everything together and the crazy thing about that is like most of my male friends they don't understand why i always decline they don't understand why i decline often to hang out with them because i'm weird like i gotta admit it i'm a, a weird i'm set in my ways at this point in my life i'm gonna do what i want to do and 
if I want to do it with my guy friends, cool. But most of the time I want to do it with you or I want to have you there doing it with me. Right. Which a lot of guys can't understand it and I can't explain it. Um, only thing I can say we is... We like each other. You, exactly. We actually like each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't just love each other. We actually like each other. That's a, a big difference. It is a huge difference, it's but so. it's very important. But, you know, I think we both were friend-zoned in the beginning. So we forced ourselves to become friends. And then I think that foundation is what um, has helped with 13 years later. Right. Because some people just get together because they want to do it, and then they get stuck not knowing how to exit the doing it part. The doing it. <laughs> yeah. So, so then they live together, buy a house together, mess around, have kids together and shit like that. So they get stuck. And I, when I met you or before I met you, I promised myself that I was never going to get stuck again because I had been stuck a couple of times for a number of years. So okay. being single, yeah, I, I, I don't miss it because I don't feel single, but I still get to move as a man, right. like, like a man. Right. Whatever that is. It's bars to the club basketball, whatever. I still get to move like a man. I never feel like I'm shackled down. Right. And I hope that, I don't think that you ever, even though you go out a lot less than I do, I never complain. Like it, When I, I am a home body and it's crazy that I do what I do at the clubs. Right. Um, because I am a complete introvert, like home body. Like I'm like a hermit crab. I could sure. just go in my shell and I'm good with that. I don't need to go out at all for right. nothing. Um, you hang out with your boys more than I hang out with my girls. Sure. So I prefer to hang out with you over anybody all the time. Right. Um, but I do have a lot of guy friends, so, you know, I don't mind hanging out. I'm usually the only right. girl. <laughs> True. Like at the game. At the game. But right. I don't mind. It doesn't make me feel any type of way. So um, everybody gets along fine and it's all good. Sure. Next. I don't. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it is what it is. Um, let me see. Gym etiquette. Gym etiquette. I didn't write that down. Is that like from two so, years ago? Lying when the truth has no negative consequences. I have not. This is all you. So what else did you put down for relationships? That's all stuff? I wrote. Oh, you wrote the one thing. Yeah. Uh. Oh, look, he doesn't understand his own notes. I do, but <laughs> I thought there were a couple of things. No, but I listen, just wrote that one thing. <clears throat> back to like when you go out. I'm also not jealous, so that helps a lot too. Because when like when you go out and y'all go out as like chicks. Like if I was seeing you like in the streets, I'd be like, holy shit. And I never like when you get dressed and go out, like I'm never like, what are you doing with that on? You know what I mean? Like some dudes. Right. Because it's too sexy or it's too, I don't want to say revealing. But let but me like clarify. When you get sexy, but hold on. Let me finish okay. my statement. <clears throat> like when you get dressed. I clean up nice. Facts. And so I'm never one to be like, yo, where are you going with that? Even though I say it, I'm joking. Right. But that's kind of like the flirting that I get to do. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, where you going? Like, oh, that's what you got on. Blah, blah, right. blah. But I love it because that's what I like to see. Right. So when we do go out, like, for my girlfriend's birthday dinner or something, women don't dress for the men. Like, I know people here say that all the time, right. but it's the truth. Like, we could care less, especially at this age like all my girlfriends are married and we really don't care we just want to look cute for us and we feel good we want to take a picture look nice in the fit. like that's what it is it's not even for like oh i'm gonna you know um try to break some necks like mm. who cares see as care. men i think we have it the other way around like we think y'all get dressed for us <laughs> we're really not don't, that's crazy don't blow your head up so, we, we really no, don't no. care we really don't care about you guys for real like seriously straight up and down Mm, that's Unless I feel like you do if you're single and you want to net somebody. But if you're in a relationship and you're good and everything, then we're like married, old married biddies. Like, we don't really mm. care about what this guy or that guy or whatever is going to think about us. Like, I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> so I already with, got mine. So with that said, so when you get dressed for other women, like, you want a chick to be like, girl, you look. No, I mean, it, we want to dress to make ourselves feel good. Feel better, okay. But we also don't want to be, like, the duck of the group. Sure. You're or, like the, or, like, the, or you the make frumpy, sure you, like, you, you know what I'm sure saying? You want to make sure you're never the duck, because there's always a duck. <clears throat> Shut up. No, it's not always a duck. <laughs> not all my friends are pretty, and they all, like, can dress, and they're all cute in their way. That's true, and too. Like, so it's not that. It's just you just don't want to be the old frump that, like, you know, we're we're getting to an age where, like, Sometimes we question our, our ourselves and are like, damn, like, do I still have it? And sure. like, I'm not, 
I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, we're not these young girls anymore. So not that we're trying to compete in any way, because honestly, I enjoy being, you know, at this age way more than I did when I was younger, because I just right. feel like I'm more secure in myself um, and, and everything like that. It's just, you know, as women, we're our worst critics. Yeah, because I was going to say, I can't imagine, like, if I was, let's say we just went out our separate ways out. We went out one right. night and then we. My group of dudes ran into your group of women. Mm -hmm. There's no way that any of us would think that any of y'all were like frumpy or old or, you know, whatever. That's just how I feel. Well, that's the goal. We don't want to look like that. Whether, I mean, guys might think it's funny. I'm like, oh, they, you know, these group of girls are cute, whatever. But it's not really like that. It's literally like, yo, I want to go out. I want to look cute. I want right. to feel good. When we dress up and we look cute, we feel good about ourselves. So do, that's you, all. do you think... Cause I don't know. I don't watch any fashion, and the older I get, the more like I don't even know how to dress anymore. I haven't gone out in so long. I don't know. I like to wear sweats and sneakers and a hoodie. So, but you didn't have that on when you went out to the birthday party. So, what I wanted to ask was, do you uh, feel like you've ever gone out and you were like old fashioned or not dressed like, <laughs> to the? Because I have a friend who, no matter what he does, he can't seem to catch up with the times. And his clothes, his clothing choices. Um, I don't think so. Not necessarily. Okay. Because when when you doubt, like, in all, all in doubt, like, if you're like, oh, I'm not really sure, wear something simple. Because the more right. simple you keep it, the more classic. Wear black. Wear, you know, some, some simple heels or, you know what I mean? Like, just keep it as simple as possible. Right. Don't wear crazy ruffles or, you know, crazy insane prints that are, were in last season. And that's why I don't really like... Um, I don't really like fast, super fast fashion and sure. stuff that um, goes out of style. Real, like faddish, like everything's very, you know. So I don't even know what's in today. Yeah, I don't I, know either. I, I mean, I see some girls with jeans that just has the worst fits in the world, and is just weird and is boxy, and it cuts off at the ankles, and they're wearing it with sneakers and like a sexy top, and it's just weird to me. I don't yeah. understand it, you know. In our days in Aaliyah and stuff, she wore like super baggy stuff right. and whatever. So these like weird cut jeans that will to me never flatter anyone. I don't understand it. Right. I don't get it. There are some that are, that are cute and it looks good, but there's a lot of it that I'm like, you just look like you just got on some floods, but it ain't supposed to be floods. You just kind of grew out of it. Sure. And then you lost weight and you grew taller. So now it's just short mm. and it just looks weird. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't like today's fashion. Yeah. I don't know what Whatever. the fashion is anymore. That's I don't either. And also, I don't... if I was, I would, I just go with what I'm doing now. Simple shirt, maybe, or blocky color shirt. Like I had on at the game and just a fitted pair of pants. Now nothing is super big and nothing is, big wide legs at the bottom or anything like that. Like, like, <laughs> like I got true religions that are like fucking <laughs> super boot sales, super boot cuts. Yeah. yeah like a damn <laughs> sailboat sales at the bottom. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, make them shorts, I guess. But yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I would be so lost back. I would be so lost if I was single. Duties. I would just probably be on dating apps. Like, yo, you want to hook up? And, and I'm anti dating apps. I've never tried it. I never will. Mm -hmm. Um, it works for people. I know people have gotten married over it, kids, sure. families, all that. But it's just weird to me. Um, I'm very old fashioned in a lot of ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's kind of one of it. Like I've, I met you online, but not for that reason. It was for a photo shoot. Right. It was like a LinkedIn for photographers and models. Right. So it was pretty much that. You know, right. um, I saw your portfolio. I liked your work. I want to work with you. Sure. So, but I don't know how to start a relationship via, you know, internet or someone who I've never met in person. If I don't yeah. get this vibe off of you in person. Right. Especially with all the catfishing going on and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. So I was watching Good Day the other day and this girl is doing like a reverse catfish. So she's putting up in the dating photos and apps, Ugly she's putting photos. up the really like unflattering, most unflattering oh, photos of herself great. so that when people see her, um, they're like pleasantly surprised. Right. And I thought it was a good idea because people put up their best photos and people always get disappointed because they're like, you don't look like that. Yeah, You're so lying or, on. or it's their best photo ever. And then you see them in person and you're very underwhelmed. So <laughs> I got to be honest for you. It was totally different because I think that you put your best photos up on that site that we were. And you hated it. On, and I didn't like any of them. And then when you showed up, I was like, holy shit, 
this chick is bad. Like, and you weren't even make up nothing. You were just like yourself. Right. So for you did a reverse catfish on me. By accident. By accident. <laughs> <laughs> by by, by accident. accident. And I was like, holy shit, like, this chick is bad. Like, this chick is hot. Body yeah, and everything. he thought I was the funkiest well, it was thing. The, it was the, that's, that goes to show you that, like, photos, a good photographer. Right. right. But we're talking about literally, like, 14 years ago. It's nuts. Right. When we think about it. Like, so... <sighs> A lot of things change and stuff, change. but yeah, no, I'm, I I guess I did reverse catfish. Yeah, you reverse catfish accident. the shit out of me by accident. Like, yo, <laughs> I'm I'm still I'm happy that the dude that you mainly worked with was not so good at photographing you, right? Um, because like it, I, I didn't have any expectation before we met, but like right. when I met you on the dock, I was like, holy shit! Like, I was like, wow. See, I don't think I don't think um my best like offering is my physical attribute i'm my worst critic no not at all there to me like there are so many days and i'm just like oh why are you so ugly you're so ugly but anyway and then there's other days i'm like oh i'm cute i'm cute but no um i think it's up here it is it's up there it's up there and it's also my um and this is where i'll toot my horn my own horn is that i know i'm a decent person i know i'm a good person i know i have good energy right um and to me, that is the most, um, I think, attractive thing about me. So not necessarily how I look or right. whatever, like face, body. like it's not, I don't have the cutest face. I don't have the best body, but I have what I have combined with some brains and also just like, you know, I, uh, I think I really do have like a decent and, and positive vibe about me. So you do have a cute face and you have a banging body. I just want to say that. Thank you. So that there's no misunderstanding and i think just like me that you can turn your energy on and off when you feel yes like it like because, a, like exactly. that exactly like that and it's crazy <laughs> because I, i've been at the firm for 17 years maybe and worked with pretty much the same uh lawyers and secretaries the whole time right and you ask half of them about me they'll say one thing you ask the other half about me, they'll say something else. Right. Because not everybody gets my great energy. Right. And then when they hear this crowd talking about me to this crowd, they don't understand what the hell that right. they're talking about. But right. I kind of like it that way. No, because I've been to your job a few times, and I right. see how you <laughs> how you kind of like talk and respond to these people when they say something. It's just like one-word answers. And it's very short. It's very... <laughs> It's very blunt. It's and It's not just with like, everybody, though. It's only with right, some right, people. Right, right, certain people. You know why? Because I don't want people, I don't want everybody, like, I feel like my energy is a gift. Everybody can't get this gift. Okay. And it's, and it's, it's crazy, and I know it. I'm conscious of it, and I, that's just the way. If I feel like if you don't have anything to offer, I can't offer anything to you. Right. I, it's a, it's, with me, it's a fair exchange. Right. I can't give out 100, I can't give out 100% and then you give back 10 it's never going to work with me. Okay. Ever, ever. Okay, fair you know, enough. So You know what I mean? So, right. <laughs> so. Yeah. I am I have a few different, you know, um, personalities. <laughs> and people will say, oh, you do that because you're a Gemini, but you're not a Gemini. I'm, I'm a Gemini, not. but that bullshit about having two different personalities is, is, is bullshit. I don't really go with, like, signs and whatever. I just believe you are who you are. Sure. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, sometimes it's spot on, but it's almost like going to a psychic and they're like, given like a yes or no answer. So it's kind of like a 50, 50 shot. You know what mm. I mean? It's like, Oh, well you're this and you're that. Am I moody? Yeah. Am I loving and giving? Yes. But you know, I feel like it's just random because my sister is also cancer and we're totally different. Yeah. You and her we are, are totally, totally different. different. So <laughs> I'm talking about two years <laughs> and one day right. to the day of right. our birthdays. Right. Like my mom probably tried to plan it or something. I don't know. You never know. Well, she didn't. We were in a refugee camp, and she was just doing her thing. But um, with your dad, with with my dad, yeah, just but <laughs> just but you know enough. what I mean? Like two years and a day apart. That's crazy. Two years and a day. July, her okay. Well, so her real birthday is July 9th, but it um, on paper is the eighth because my mom. I guess it went to the next day, but she didn't realize it because she was giving birth. And right. back then in the old country, you know, you don't really keep track like they do over here. Sure. So technically on paper we're two two years and two days apart. July eighth and July tenth, but she's technically the ninth. So that's insane. It's almost like spot on. Now, what if we had the same birthday? That would be nuts. Without being twins, like two years apart. So now that you say that, <laughs> me and my sister 
same month, same day, just reversed. <laughs> so I'm 31. She's it's 13. Insane. It's yeah, insane. It's crazy the way stuff like yeah. that happens. But right. it is what it is. Um, we don't celebrate really like Valentine's Day. It's more of our anniversary. So back right. in the day, Valentine's Day used to be my favorite holiday when I was in a relationship, my first relationship. So Valentine's Day was my favorite. Now sure. our anniversary is three days before, so we don't right. really celebrate Valentine's Day. We do um, our anniversary. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 Valentine's Day is tricky because I feel like dudes go all out on that one day. And on then, that one day, and then, yeah, that's and then they're it. trying to right. they do dirty shit all year and then try to make yeah. it up on that day. I don't understand it. Just like the other day I brought you flowers for no reason. I think dudes should do more stuff like that if they really want to um, keep their girlfriends and wives happy or whatever. But hey, do what do whatever it is. But that it's you like do. that for any holiday, like a Mother's Day or a Father's Day or whatever. Sure. Because I mean, mothers should be recognized all year round. Fathers, good fathers, sure. should be and good mothers should be recognized all the time. Right. So those days are, I, I think, these quote unquote holidays are kind of just to. You know what? Let's give them this day. Monetize? Oh. Let's give them this day and to monetize. I mean, everything is about money, right? Yes. So I don't look at Christmas as like a religious holiday. Christmas is a time for, to me, is family and is when people are spending money. That's all that is. That's true. Um, So. so, Last question. So what, since you used to love Valentine's Day. Right. What was the thing that you would like to get? Like, what gift would you, did you like getting the most for Valentine's Day? If you had gifts. I did, but I, I don't know. Oh, my God. I mean, you, I was You were years. young, so it probably wasn't like a whole bunch of money floating around no, at that no. time. No, no. I mean, it was just the cute little thing. It was the flowers. It was mm. the candy. It was maybe a little necklace or something that I liked, some right. music. Like, I don't know. It wasn't anything crazy. I was young. I was definitely very young. But to me, I just love the, I love love. Right. And I love, you know, that um, there's a day to celebrate it. So to me, it was just exciting for Oh, we get to do more couple stuff that we maybe not, maybe we don't concentrate on as much on a regular day. Right. So it was just kind of like that, spending mm. time together, whatever. You know, we didn't live together, so it was it was a little, it was a, not a little different. It was very different, right? Back in the day, but I did. I used to love Valentine's Day. Mm. Loves all the cheesy decorations and everything. Mm, the cheesy lingerie. So yeah. that's what dudes do. We run out. <laughs> not me. I think lingerie is a waste. I. I used to like it, so I met him, and I, and I don't have not one thing. I don't think of lingerie because it's like, what's the point? It's like, like the one year for the anniversary, I came home, and like the whole bedroom was full of like flowers. No, like, no, no. 50 balloons. It was our fifth anniversary. Okay. I snuck 50 red balloons, and I put fl- roses, and I put petals, right. and red candles, and everything. I had this cute little outfit on. Yeah, and it was a waste to you. Because it wasn't a waste. You looked great. But I'm like, all right, let's get to it. Like, we already know what this means. So let's cut out the, the small talk. You right, know what I mean? right. Let's cut out the small talk. I appreciate it. And then I remember that day you were like, yo, where are you at? Because I was running late that day coming home. So uh-huh. you hit me up. I'm like, yo. Wait, so I'm in the bed, like, <laughs> like, like posing, like, waiting. Right. And I'm like, <laughs> Right. In 20 minutes, I've been sitting like this. Right. <laughs> and then, like, I'm like, hello? Like, are you good? Right. <laughs> it was I'm our like, anniversary. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it was you know what's funny. crazy? It's it crazy funny. that you got away with that because you said you hid the balloons in the garage. and 50 balloons. 50 yeah. red heart balloons. It, it felt like the whole room was full. It was beautiful. I, I still have an image of that day, <laughs> you know, in my head. But it's stuff like that. But right. back to the lingerie thing, it is like, I don't know if dude still like it or if it's like yo let's just get right to it like all the teasing stuff well I, i'm gonna cut you off right there sure the clothes girls wear out today look like lingerie so there is nothing so we're no, desensitized to the you're the desensitized, exactly okay exactly like some of these dresses are completely sheer and they have like cutouts everywhere and it's just too it's something that i would never be caught dead wearing in the streets sure. because back in the day you know it's almost like someone's grandma or we'll call you like a like a like a street walker. <laughs> Damn, you work in the night. So. You know what I mean? Like some of the stuff is a little too much for right. me, but I'm a little more old school. Sure. Um and and this is coming from me who took half naked photos when I was, you know, freelancing and modeling for fun and stuff like that. But right. to just be on the street with like um a sheer, completely sheer dress with no bra underneath and stuff, that's a bit much for me. But that's just that's just my opinion. Right. You do you. You're comfortable. You're body positive enough. You're 
you can pull that off, then that's good for you. But I think I just think it's a little bit much. Like, it mm. leave a little bit to the imagination. I, I guess. Um, so. I think as men, we're always undressing y'all anyway. Yeah, but if you can see everything already, there's nothing to undress. Yeah, I guess she could be... Uh, the, uh, she could be attracting some and others she can be pushing away with stuff right. like that. I'm like, to me, it's like, ah... It's a little too much. Like, I don't even think you could do that classy. You can't, I don't think you could do anything sheer in the streets classy. Not in the streets. And like a photo shoot or something. Definitely. For sure. You Definitely. know, it's sexy. It's like, oh, okay. Right. But just out in the streets, it's just different. The, the, it's just a whole different atmosphere mm-hmm. to be surrounded by people and, you know, and people are people. People judge. It's just what Correct. it is. You Correct. know, even if you try not to, you might subconsciously like, oh, shit, you know, that's just. It's a bit much. It's yeah. a lot. So it's just what it is. We're human. You know, yeah. whatever. I mean, I think Jamaicans come out and share stuff a lot, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jamaicans. They do, right? They got the sheer... The, the, the sheer, stripes. The stripes and the, uh-huh. with all the fishnet-y looking things. I mean, only Rihanna could get away with that kind of stuff. Everywhere. I saw Safari in one the other day. You're talking about the fishnets, though. You're yeah. not talking about the just sheer. I'm talking about straight up just sheer. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the fishnets with the green and, and the red, yeah. and the yellow. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Was that it? I thought you had more notes. I had more notes, but they weren't relationships. Oh. Uh, no worries. What time is it? It's about 7 to 58. Yeah, let me write it.